All right, I got the email notification in, the work is done. Let's see what we got. Click over here. Oh yes, 2,428 leads. As you can see by the title of this video, I have 2,428 leads for you. And today, not only am I giving you access to that, I'm gonna show you the exact strategy you can use to turn these leads into speaking gigs for your business. So let's just jump into this. So what we're gonna do is something called the lemonade stand strategy. The best way I can show this to you is I actually have to draw it for you. I was living in New York City at the time and I was walking to the subway station and where the subway station was, there was a little bit of construction that blocked off one half of the road. So everybody was crossing to the other side so they can make it to the subway station. And this massage therapy studio just opened up and they were on the side with the construction. And to like get more business and like get people interested in what they were doing, they had these two really attractive women sitting outside at a little table offering up free lemonade with like little coupons for like half price massages. And as I was walking into the bodega, which was on the other side of the street, I kind of saw this and I thought this was really interesting. And I happened to know the bodega owner. And I was watching as hundreds of people were walking by this bodega on the opposite side of the street, go into the subway, and nobody was going over to these little girls, uh, these young ladies who were over there trying to like give away this free lemonade and give away half price massage like coupons. And I said to the bodega owner, I was like, yo, how long have they been out there? And we had just this brief conversation. And I was like, you know, uh, he was a really cool dude, and I was like, you know, I bet you if they came over here and they were like, hey, would you mind if we set up in front of your place so we get a little bit more business? Like, that would be really great for them. And he was like, yeah, they absolutely should. That would work really great for my business, having two very attractive women sitting out front, getting people to stop, even for a brief moment, look up at my bodega. You know, it's always great. Like, I'm always open to this, because, you know, small business is difficult. And this is the lemonade stand strategy. Pick up what you're doing and put it in front of the customer, your ideal customer. Pick up your lemonade stand, move it across the street, get in front of that ideal customer, and you're gonna have a lot more success. So this is how we're going to do the strategy. One of the big things about any business is doing a buyer persona, a customer avatar, however you wanna describe it. Part of that is understanding what associations, networks, everybody who is anybody ends up joining one of those associations. They do it because they wanna improve themselves and stay on top of the field and you know network with other like-minded individuals. So what I did is I went onto Google and I started looking up every professional association and I reached out to somebody on Fiverr to have them basically put all this information down. I was looking for the name of the organization, their website URL. That's basically like the two most important keys there. I just got the notification, so let's like take a look and see what comes in. So we're gonna come over to my screen here. Look at this, look at this. We got the name, we got the email address, or the, the website, we can click over to it. We got Career Center, so we can see kind of like what they're hiring about, that's great. How many leads do we get here? Keep going down, keep going down, keep going down. Oh, holy moly. It's still going. It's still going. 2,428 leads. That's 2,428 leads that you can have right now. Link in the description. Okay, now that we have our list, here's what we're going to do. Start by getting this list, which link in the description, and then going through and kind of identifying which one of these is good leads for you. Now that we have our list of potential organizations, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop over to LinkedIn. Now I'm gonna use the organization BNI as an example, because it's actually a really great organization for me and my business. So popping over here onto LinkedIn, what, you're, what you wanna do is you wanna come up to the search function and put in your organization, right? Uh, BNI, and then pop over to the companies 
and make sure you get the organization. From there, what I would do is I would look at the employees. In here, it's going to show you who the high-level directors are, who is the entire staff, right? They have 4,000 employees here. And this is what I would do. The first thing is I would look for anybody with events in their title, event manager, event organizer, assistant to events uh, communicator, or whatever it might be. Events is a key word that you want to really hone in on. Um, you could also go in for more filters over here and let's see if we can come down here, type in event. And now BNI and events. And I can scroll through this list that has appeared to try and find somebody who works with the events, right? Now, this doesn't seem to be exactly with BNI, but that's okay. You just pop one level back. Once you find the event coordinator, event organizer, whoever it may be, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to send them a connection request. And what I do is I usually send something like, hey, whatever the person's name is, uh, I am an industry leader in leadership, marketing, whatever the, like, those high level niches are. It seems we have a number of similar connections. Love to connect with you uh, and see how we can assist each other. Something along those lines. I'd go through and I'd send those connection requests. And then after those connection requests uh, actually happen, as you can see here, I have a number of pending connection requests. What I do is I come into my messages and I find somebody, right? And I send a voice, uh, a video message to them. Something very personal, saying hello and putting my face right up in that screen. It blows people away because they get to get your energy. But more than that, what I like to do is I like to dive in deep on this little employees page and I like to go to the website, the main website, and start looking at the corporate hierarchy. BNI has over 10,000 various clubs around the world with something like 270,000 members. Now, if you have an organization with 10,000 clubs, chances are you're gonna have a pretty in-depth hierarchy and leadership team. So what I'd like to do is look at that leadership team and I realize something that these 10,000 clubs are probably broken up into regions or sections or something along those lines. And I want to figure out what that is called. Because what we're going to do is imagine doing a workshop or an event for all 10,000 of those different clubs or all of those different regions. You're gonna naturally build your name and your reputation up within that organization and very soon it's going to be a stepping stone to the higher level, the, the leadership team right here at the top of my screen, right? So what I do is I take a two-prong approach and what I recommend is you to take the two-prong approach. One, go to the regional level and start connecting with those people, whoever those are. So like if we come in here, I'm going to actually pop over to my first degrees of connection because I've actually started doing this already, right? And it's the executive director of Greater Los Angeles area, executive director for BNI. Executive director is the term. So I'm going to be reaching out to these various executive directors and start trying to set up a training for all of the BNI members in their region that is either very low cost or completely free because I know I can get clients out of doing that anyways. And then what I'm going to do is leverage those workshops to get more workshops within the organization and then also get the executive team, the higher ups, to pay attention to what I am doing and go, hey, I've done 13 workshops. I've had these amazing reviews from various members of the organization at all levels. I believe this would be a really great training for everybody at BNI. This is something I would like to offer. Can we have a discussion on how to make this work? 
you're doing a little bit of free work. It's a little bit of low uh, dollar amount work up front to get that big paycheck at the end. Think of it like a bank. You gotta put lots of you know, little tiny investments and deposits in to get that big withdrawal at the end. So honestly, take this strategy, take this uh, work that I've done and go and get yourself some speaking gigs. And here's the deal. Uh, this was a lot of work for me to put together. If you want to support me, uh, I will have a link where you can buy me a cup of coffee. That'd be freaking awesome. Uh, you don't have to, but make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That actually super helps me. And if you don't know how to like really build your speaking business, make sure to check out this video about how to go from zero to $100,000 in six months.